Well, I guess it's certified now. I'm insane. Uh, here I am, up before the butt crack of dawn. It's 4 a.m., and yeah, I'm going hiking. Alright, made it to the trailhead. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get going up Buse Canyon Trail, uh, about five and a half miles up to the summit of Mount Ogden. This is about a 4,600 foot vertical climb, and I'm starting so early so that I can avoid the oppressive heat that's been going on for the past week, and uh, hopefully I'll be home early enough that I can still make it to work. Oh, just a little quick check-in. Seems like I'm about uh, two and three quarters miles up. Uh, just about 1,800 feet of climbing so far. That means I still have about 2,700 feet of climbing, I think. And uh, yeah, that means that the hardest part's still to come. But man, I just had to stop here and see this beautiful view. Man, that was good. But, whew, I'm tired. I'm out of shape. Well, as you can see, I'm finally inside of the major switchback that heads up to the main ridge. And right over there, you can see the Strawberry Express Gondola cat track that heads over to Black Diamonds that are just on the other side of that summit. Which, that makes me happy because that means we're getting close. Well, I'm getting close. Why do I use first person plural? That doesn't make sense. I must be really tired. Anyways, on we go. Uh, just below Mount Ogden. It looks like it's just a few hundred more feet to go. So, yay!
Well, it feels freaking awesome to finally have summited. Uh, there's definitely a discrepancy between my Apple Watch and uh, the Fat Map app on my phone. Fat Map shows that I climbed about uh, just under 4,600 feet, or uh, about 4,570 4, feet to be exact. And according to my watch, 4,200 feet. So, you know, a bit off. I'm gonna go with the uh, Fat Map because, you know, well, frankly, I like thinking that I did more. Um, also, that's what everybody else said on all trails was that it was four, about 4,500 feet climb. So, anyways, of course, one of the best parts about hitting the summit is having the celebratory be beverage. Today, today I'm doing a grape kickstart. Pretty nice. Oh, that's so good after, I mean, man, after almost five hours of climbing, whew, that was, uh, that was a tough slog. Now, granted, I'm pretty out of shape, so, but it just feels awesome to be sitting on the, what I think is the highest summit. Uh, anywhere in, you know, in Weber or Davis counties. So it's uh, pretty cool. Now, granted, the summit's still only, um, you know, about just under 9,600 feet. So it's not even a 10,000 foot peak. Oh, well, that's nice. Whatever condenser that was that's air conditioning the, uh, the towers over here just shut off. So... Yeah, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to descend. But before I do, um, just wanted to talk a little bit about creativity. You know, obviously, as an architect, I'm a creative professional. And so you might be wondering why I spend so much time hiking, running, skiing. And a lot of, a lot of that's because um, to be a creative, you have to... You really have to put in a lot of mental effort. There's, it's a huge drain on your psyche. And so you have to be able to recharge your batteries. Um, recharging your mental batteries, your creative batteries, um, for me, that involves doing stuff like this. Hiking to the summit of a mountain. And, uh, for some reason that gets me, uh, gets my creative juices flowing again. But uh, I think part of it is because I'm around nature. Part of it's because I'm getting away from the desk and exerting myself physically. So it's a good thing to find the way to recharge your batteries because we all need to be creative, whatever profession you're in. Check that out, Pine View Reservoir down below uh-huh and then look down here we've got the whole valley and the salt lake beyond it's just it's just breathtaking i love this thanks for joining me
12 miles, 4,600 feet of climbing. I came across a rattlesnake about uh, three quarters of the way down. Oh, that was scary. And then I twisted my ankle about a mile away from the finish line. And, oh man, that sucks. But hey, I made it and oh, that felt good. Especially feels good to be done. But it was a really cool summit. Don't know if I would recommend this hike. Peace out.